And I'm I'm a narcissist. I, I've I've explained this before, and I know that I need to be. The, the experience, the the human experience, the black experience especially, is rooted in destroying the individual in you. There's a conditioning that we all I mean we're all, we're all conditioned, right? Uh, I've said this before. We're all conditioned to just be cogs in the wheel and just be part of the system and do what's already been established. We're not, we're rarely given the the insight to see, like I talked about in the last episode, to see our potential or to nourish our, poten- nourish our potential or cultivate our potential. Um, we, and through that, you end up just kind of being part of the system, part of society, just another, another face, another head, another, another body, far from the potential that you have as an individual, far from defining and owning the purpose you have as an individual in this life experience, in this once-in-a-lifetime life experience. So I think most people, nah, I mean, I don't want to say that. For me, narcissism started unhealthy. Right? It was being egotistical, but not understanding that the the excess of self uh, I, I talked about um you know giving put, push p- putting 90 percent of, of yourself on someone it's a lot it's a lot to deal with man you know i talked about meeting trying to meet people 50 50 and narcissism is the highest <laughs> level right it's 100 percent right it's all about me it's me 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 oh i i hear you that's a sad story but me right it's what i want what i need how can I, how can I intertwine myself and my experience into your story and make the situation about me? That's narcissism. That's that's unhealthy narcissism. But for me, the the healthy part of being a narcissist is just understanding self, valuing self, being proud of myself, um, knowing your worth, knowing who you want to be, knowing your value, knowing your potential, um, and that's that's like the a low low tier of it right it's 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 rooted in self it's about self so, so like you know i talked about using me for your passions not for your ego my narcissism comes from my passions my passions of creating and wanting to be part of the the social systems that promote healing promote growth promote challenging yourself um promote wanting to kind of break free and be and fulfill your potential fulfill your purpose and it's a journey to kind of weed through that to escape the the um the overexertion overexertion of your identity and yourself right it's not the, the narcissism the narcissism that i've established isn't rooted in vanity it isn't rooted in needing to be better than other people it's not rooted in needing to insert myself it's just me establishing myself me believing in myself me believing in the work that i'm doing and honoring that right the more you honor who you are and what you want to do you're going to feel good about yourself and i think that's part of it so i've and i've said it before i think a healthy dose of narcissism is essential and I think a lot of us start or exist within that that negative state of narcissism. And it's needed on one aspect, but you have to kind of trim down the fat. You have to take away the unnecessary layers where you're imposing yourself versus just having your narcissism be for who you are and what you need. Right? The the projection should be against the the um the negative sides of life, the negative sides. Or the negative thought to negative perceptions, like I talked about willpower and that wall, and building up the um, positive thoughts, the positive actions, and moving forward, that should be the narcissism. That should be the build up, and it should be isolated and focused on the negative thinking, the pessimism, the um, the lack of desire, the conditioning that limits your potential and life experience. 